Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, ladies and gentlemen. This is Glenn Tan speaking. This time, I'm going to talk about our latest UMatch for identification. I will call it UMatch 6 or UMatch LNS. And this presentation is based on EU market. For the other area, you can take it as your reference. This presentation divides into these five parts. I have put the corresponding video linkage at the below description area just for your convenience. What is UMatch? UMatch is between residential air conditioner and commercial air conditioner. Compared with RAC, the capacity is larger. We make it up to 16 kW. To achieve this one, we extend the piping and also the height drop. Compared with CAC, it is easier to install and because it is still one indoor unit to one outdoor unit, basically there is no knee bracing. Here is the universal match and what you can do is with the same unit, with it, this one, you can select the indoor unit to be duct tie, cassette tie, wall mounted, or the floor ceiling. For this one, either one of it is available. The outdoor unit is the same, but it is still one to one. And also for the indoor unit, they can select the outdoor unit to be single face or the three faces, which is easier for the customer to choose, uh, which means the power supply, if it can get the three phases, it will be the best. If it is single phase, it's still okay. For this UMatch 6 or UMatch LNS, here is the operating range for outdoor and bin. Just compare with our last generation, we can call it UMatch 5 or UMatch RS485. And for this one, the upper limit is the same 52 degree. But lower limit, we make it as low as minus 20. As for heating, also the same upper limit 24, lower limit as low as uh, minus 20. As for the power supply, for this part, it is the same. Either single phases and three phases, we keep it the same as our last generation. This table place the outdoor unit light gap for EU market. Here is the model. This is the picture. You can find that for the whole series, it is single outdoor fan design. From this model, you can find that here the 35 means the cooling capacity. It is 3.5 kW. This W means it is outdoor unit. As for this one, that means it is the our UMatch 6 generation or UMatch LNS. As for this NH, that means the refrigerant it is R32. As for the last alphabet, also means the power supply. For this one, means it is a single phase. For uh, this X, it is uh, three phases. Also, you can find that from 10 to 14 kW. This is three model. You can choose single phase or three phases. I also put the efficiency for cooling and heating. This is for duct tie, also the net weight, the noise, and also the dimension. I put it here just for your reference. As for the efficiency, we also improve a lot. Here is the cooling performance. I just compare the SEER with our last generation. Basically, improve uh, four to five percent. And the heat tank performance, I just compare the SCOP this time about seven to eight percent. For the outdoor unit reliability. We also develop and improve the inside components. First is for higher the power factor. We have this reactor, 
put it here. Also, the whole series apply the EXV for metering. And also, as you know, that EXV also means the, the high accuracy refrigerant control. And also, we have the gas liquid separator to avoid the complex liquid slump. And for 16 and 14 kilowatt, the outer unit PCB apply the refrigerant crew. Just like this. This also to higher the uh, complexer and even the system efficiency. As for the LC LH model, which is the low heating, low cooling mode. For this one, we have this uh, button band e heater. This is for preventing the ice accumulate at the button. As for the ventilation system, we also improve the frame brake and also the fan motor. In the next slide, I will introduce. Ventilation system of the U-Match. First is the frame brake. We focus on the structure or the shade to ensure you will have a higher volume with, with the same RPM, which is focused on the circular up brake top, this part. And this is the forward suite and also the long span wide braid. So in conclusion, we just compare with the old generation with the same RPM, we will have uh, about 11.4%. Uh, the air volume, it will be higher. As for the fan motor, first is the anti-reverse. That means uh, when the u match is going to start up, first we will judge how the outdoor fan motor, how it operate, crosswise stop, anti-crosswise and according to this one we will have different measures to ensure it can start up successful anti-corruption that means the whole body or even the shaft it we apply the stainless steel or the electron uh, for rexic craft low noise that means the inside there is a built-in PCB to drive the uh, fan motor and for that we also uh, optimize the circuit design and also to ensure when the fan motor operate it will not have the uh, electronic noise the compressor also from green it is twin rotary that means inside the complexer there are two cylinder or two compression chamber and we also research or develop lots of, of the components to ensure the complexer with higher efficiency and also uh, higher uh, durable for example here is the is complexion chamber the this is the roller it is a alloy ruler made from Crohenny process for lower leakage and operation. This valve is for the gas to discharge with a special structure to lower the resistance. And also this one, this slide vent, which is located here. And for this one, we need to ensure the intensity, especially at the surface. So the surface we make it a special coating. This coating is similar to, like the diamond to ensure the durability. As for this shaft, this whole one, it is uh, made from QT700 and also the surface it is robust coating. As for the motor, it is a rare earth motor with DV shape to ensure the high magnetic intensity which to ensure you will have a higher efficiency as for this part this is for the complex chamber, complex gas to discharge with this structure we can ensure it will not discharge too much oil and for this one we can make the whole complexer for a higher durability The outdoor heat exchanger, we apply the corrugated fin, just compare with the 
flat fin, the surface is not uh, flat but uneven. The purpose of this one is just to higher the heat transfer efficiency. And also, you will find that the surface there is no slip. And for this one, for heat tank, if the ice when we do the defrost on the surface of the outdoor heat exchanger, it will become the water. And for this corrugated fin, it will be easier for the water to flow out because there's no slip, right? And just due to this one, it will be easier for the defrost tank just compared with the slip uh, fin. As for the anti-corruption, this is the table and actually in our grid design system we divide the anti-corruption level of the fin by different color and also you will find that for either one of it the structure is this they are almost the same the difference is just the thickness of different layer and just like this Basically, uh, this is higher also means the anti-corruption level also higher. So for the UMH, the auto unit, we apply the golden fin. It already passed the 1,500 1, hour of the natural soap spray test. And for this one, it 24 hours for it, it can consider as a one year in regular condition environment which means for this one it can last for a long long time and if you have a higher anti-corruption level you can also choose this black color it can additional pass 200 hours for the AC salt spray test and also for detail you need to contact with your great salesman for detail Compact design. First is for the installation space requirement. Just compare with our last generation, you can find that this space required, we make it to be smaller. So you, you can install just like this for more easier. And the whole series, it is a single fan. And also for this case, you cannot open this window, right? But for this one, this is the UMATCH uh, LNS. It is available. Here is the comparison among U-Match, Multi-Split or Free match and the VRF and we just compare on the 12 kilowatt and here is our latest these three models and here is the detail model of the, the outdoor unit and here is the picture for how to do the wiring and the uh, piping and you can find that for UMATCH it is one outdoor unit for one indoor unit and for this multi split one outdoor unit at the same time it can connect to multi indoor units and similar to the VRF but also you need to pay attention that the piping you need to uh, uh, combine as one then we can connect this one to the outdoor unit and here I just make the diff comparison on different items. First is the uh, metering device as all these three apply the EXV. So the location and for the UMATCH and the multi split locates at the outdoor unit and VRF locates at the indoor unit. And for this reason, for the customer, the noise, it will be lower for these two and a little bit higher for this one. As for the communication between the outdoor unit and the indoor unit, for this two, also apply the LNS, which is the leaf, nature, and signal, and plus the earthing. So it will totally you be four wire. And this one is a uh, four wire for each indoor unit. And for the VRF, as the power is for indoor unit and outdoor unit, they are separated. We just need to ensure the communication and also we apply the CAN communication with only two wires for each in dot unit. As for the piping, these two, only the flaring, no need the uh, welding or bracing. And here is the piping information about the high, mix, high drop 
our dot unit to first is in dot unit and total piping. I just put it here just for your reference. The reason why this uh, VRF has it can connect to a longer uh, or further in in dot unit, it is because it has the subcooler. This one, and the purpose of the subcooler is just to increase the subcooling, which makes the system can the refrigerant can remain uh, liquid stay when it go to the first is in dot unit so that is the reason why it can connect to up to uh, 100 meter and the refrigerant for this tool we apply the r32 because they uh, belong to the uh, residential air conditioner and this one is the uh, commercial steel r14 a as for the oil check, these two require also the same. Every six meter, we need an oil check. If the uh, high drop between indoor unit and outdoor unit is six ten meters, for VRF no need. And the oil return operation, you match as there's one outdoor unit to one indoor unit, no need this part. For these two required, especially in the part low condition and also is special when the complexer RPM is at low and also at the uh, capacity ratio for this one it is a uh, no selection and for this it is a uh, 50 to uh, actually our uh, recommendation is 150 is this this one it will lower the system performance but generally there is no limit but the quantity is already fixed by the auto unit as the cut off wealth the quantity is already fixed as for the VRF we have a limit upper limit is 135 and the power supply for this uh, UMH is from auto unit to the indoor unit and also the same as the multi sprig for the uh, VRF the power supply for indoor unit and auto unit they are separated Communication is can only two wires.